So for this video, we're going to solve the following logarithmic equation. So we have 2 plus log base 3 of 2x plus 5 minus log base 3 of x is equal to 4. So the first thing I want to do with this equation is I want to get the logs all by themselves on one side of the equation. And it almost is. The only thing I need to move is this, this 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this 2 over to the other side. All right, to get log base 3 of 2x plus 5 minus log base 3 of x, and that's now going to equal to 2. Then I'm going to use my log properties here to condense these down. So I see that I have, they're both log base 3, we're subtracting them. If you remember from your log properties, when you have a subtraction, that correlates to a division. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these together, and I'm going to say 2x plus 5 is being divided by x because of this subtraction here. Right? We can group the logs together. The 2x plus 5 goes in my numerator, the x goes in my denominator because of that minus sign, and this is still going to equal 2. At this point here, we then use our log rule here that says that we can do this. So it says that we can take our base, 3, raise it to this power over here, so 2, and that's going to equal this right here, 2x plus 5 is equal to x. Right, base raised to this is equal to this. And then I can use this then to solve. Right, so 3 squared is equal to 9, so I have 9 is equal to 2x plus 5 over x. We want to get rid of x in the denominator, so we do that by multiplying by x on both sides. That's going to cancel on the right, leaving me with 9x is equal to 2x plus 5. And let me move that up over here so that we can wrap up this problem here. So solving for x, I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. That's going to give me 7x is equal to 5. And we're going to divide both sides by 7, getting that x is equal to 5 sevenths. So that is our solution for the logarithmic equation here. Um, I forgot to actually tack on the additional instructions for this particular question that I'm using here. Uh, the instructions for this particular equation, uh, for this particular problem says, uh, for our solution, they said that if you take the reciprocal of the solution, Right, so if you take the reciprocal represented by n over m, what would the m value be? So this is just a little extra tid tidbit that they tacked onto this problem. The answer is 5 sevenths for this equation. Now, our solution is 5 sevenths. If we take the reciprocal of 5 sevenths, remember taking the reciprocal is just flipping the fraction around. So the reciprocal would be 7 over 5. Right, so they want to know what is m, what is the number, or what is the value uh, for our denominator. So m would just equal 5 for that part here. Right, but again, this is just a little extra bit for this video here. The solution for this logarithmic equation is 5 sevenths. Otherwise, that's it for this video.